Another concern people raise is that AI coding agents can hallucinate and generate incorrect code. That is true, but in my opinion, it's manageable. First of all, you are supposed to check the code that the AI generates to make sure it's correct. Secondly, in my experience, Hallucinations typically happen when the agent lacks sufficient context or when we ask it to solve overly complex problems in one single step. The solution to fixing this is a skill that senior developers already possess, breaking down complex problems into smaller manageable components. Design the overall solution yourself, identify the individual pieces, then let the AI agent implement each one of those components one at a time. This is why senior developers and principals who have embraced AI tools are often the most successful with them. They're already experts at breaking down problems into manageable scopes. I know plenty of senior developers who rarely write code from scratch anymore. They simply design the architecture, provide detailed specifications to the agent, and then review and refine the results. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. They have the domain knowledge and system understanding to guide the agent effectively and catch any issues in the output. The final pushback I often hear is more philosophical. But coding is a craft. There's artistry in writing beautiful, elegant code. As someone who genuinely enjoys the process of writing clean, thoughtful code, I understand this sentiment. But here's the reality. Professional software developers are in the business of solving practical problems for people using code as our tool. We're not artisans or craftsmen creating timeless works of art. If our software endures and provides value, it won't be because the code base was aesthetically beautiful. It will be because it solved real-world problems effectively. Besides, let's be honest about what actually happens when we focus too much on craftsmanship. If you find yourself spending significant amount of time carefully optimizing functions into elegant, minimal expressions when they are pressing features to ship, you're probably just procrastinating. You're avoiding the real work by focusing on tasks that feel productive, but they don't move the needle. This is actually the kind of work that LLMs excel at and handle very, very well. They can take care of the routine, tedious parts of coding, clearing a path for you to focus on the truly important decisions where your judgment, experience, and design really, really matter. Some of what I've mentioned in this video are insights from a blog post by Thomas Patek that I highly recommend reading. He dives much deeper into other arguments and provides additional perspective I think you'll find really valuable. 